We're going to have a look at the Spybot Search and Destroy Start Center. So hopefully now you've got it installed and configured correctly for first time use. Don't forget to check out the videos if you haven't already watched them. And basically you've got an icon on your desktop Spybot Search and Destroy Start Center, which is where you will always start your Spybot experience. So once we open that, it is a fast program. We can see at the top we've got a status saying that internet protection is full and that the software is up to date. You always want to make sure you have two ticks there. We can see the last system scan at the moment that's red. The red means we need to take action. Your computer has not been scanned yet so we can press scan system to start a scan. For immunization this protects you against threats before they happen so one of the big things it immunizes is your web browsers to stop things like drive-by downloads and visiting websites that are known to be compromised so we've not immunized this system yet and it is recommended that you do so it easily block some common threads threats so immunize is certainly the first thing you should be doing on here even prior to a system scan to stop any threats coming on the last update is currently green because we updated zero days ago when we installed and it's regularly checking for updates to continue, co continue protection because we have actually um, told it that we don't want to actively manage it so it's going to sort that out for us and there is an advert to get one of the best antivirus engines according to Spybot by buying Spybot Pro whilst you are on the free edition as you can see at the top this will remain on the screen to try and ask you to purchase it if you click on the file menu you've got quick access to the support forum which is the main method of support for free users you can also go directly to the website and if you go on help for local help you can get help content and help on the start center uh, by clicking f1